Hey guys, I'm Mikey back here for another video. Guys, welcome back to another episode of my No Money Spent series. Let's get started with it, guys. Today, we just completed the Team of the Year solo challenges on my No Money Spent squad. Now, we did most of these on the live stream. Go back and check it out if you'd like to. But guys, let's go ahead and see who we get out of this Team of the Year defensive pack. Actually, before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and see all the guys we can pull. So pretty much, it's any defensive player possible. And on the live stream, I went ahead and opened up my, um, my rookie player, and I got a strong safety. Uh, 86 overall, nothing too special, nothing too great. We'll look at his card in a second. But first off, let's go ahead and go to Team of the Year, and let's go to the defense. So going to buy it now, we can say we can see real fast that these are all the players we can pull, not the rookie standout players. But let's go ahead and sort this by 94 plus. So it's a 94 plus overall player. We could pull the free safety, who would actually be a nice addition to the squad. We could pull Geno Atkins. We could go ahead and pull Sue, uh, Bobby Wagner, Joey Boza, Lamonte David, AJ Boye, Khalil Mack, which would be insane. And, of course, we could pull, you know, any defensive player here, Aaron Donald, Casey Haywood, and Landon Collins. So now going ahead and looking at the squad real fast, just to get a quick refresher of what the squad looks like. As you can see, this is what the offense looks like. And then, of course, we have the defense, which we will be adding a 94-plus of all player to. This is a player I ended up pulling out of my rookie standout pack on live stream. Again, um, I do live stream a lot, so go check them out. Come by, step by, and enjoy the live streams. But this is going to be Jamal Williams, which is my rookie standout player. Very, very nice player. So who do I want to pull the most? I would probably say it's going to be the corner. Either the corner or the strong safety landing Collins. So guys, we why delay it anymore? Let's go ahead and see who we can pull out of our pack here, guys. The defensive player. I'm actually going to cover my eyes and not look at the player when I pull it. So I'm going to get my live reaction to who I ended up getting, guys. Who am I going to get out of my 94-plus overall pack? And I end up getting 95 overall Levante David. So, not a bad pull at all. I was actually saying um, to someone else that he actually is pretty much better than most safeties. He has, I believe, if I'm correct, 93 zone coverage. I, I might be incorrect on that. Let's see. He had, he had 92 zone coverage, 85 man. He literally is like the equivalent of a safety at linebacker, which is very, very nice of a player and definitely going to fit in all, on our defense pretty well. Now, with that in mind, we'll... What, what, what would this mean for my defense? Why well, Brian Arakbo will go ahead and take a back seat, but I don't think that's actually going to be that bad. So first off, I'm going to put Lamonte David in, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up taking out him, and let me see who I can do. I could put one of these ends at the tackle. Um, Cam, oh Cameron Haywood. What we got with Cameron Haywood? We got 73 speed. I'm going to end up putting uh, Danell Hunter, I'm not Danell Hunter, Cameron Haywood at D-Tackle. And I'm going to go ahead and put Brian Arakbo down at right end. See how that works out. It might not work out for right now, I mean, at first, but we're going to go ahead and see how it works out overall. So let me go ahead and put in um, Haywood over my starting right end. <laughs> It, which, again, I still don't have a D-tackle, which is kind of ironically funny. But with that in mind, that's going to be what the team looks like at the moment. We have a Levante David as a linebacker. And next Monday, guys, next Monday we get new Team of the Year offense. And that's when we can go ahead and add a Team of the Year offensive player to this team and make this team a lot better on offense because... Personally-wise, I feel like we need one more addition on offense to make this offense actually legitly, you know, scary. Now, of course, I do have a kicker in uh, Jeff Health or Heath right now that someone recommended. So, recommend down below, guys, who should I pick up next? I think I might make one more pickup in this video. Let's take a look at the auction block and see what we got on the auction block and see who we want to upgrade. So I want to get a right tackle, to be honest, but I don't know, you know, who I should end up picking up because I only have 36,000 coins, not much to work with. And, you know, obviously, again, when I want to wait till next week to really do a major pickup because next week we get team of your offense. I get a team of your offense rookie standout and I get a team of your offensive player. Um... Right tackle, Wayne Schrader, he does not look that bad. Now, personally-wise, we don't have a right tackle. We're actually working with, a, I believe, a right guard at right tackle. So, at the moment, we do not have anyone. But I feel like if I'm going to pick someone up, 
I might go ahead and just wait and see what we can do with um, you know, with, with Team of the Year offense. Because again, Team of the Year offense is going to give us a free player uh, that we can use for this. But Michael Thomas, 83 speed. Ugh. Booty butt cheeks, man. Booty butt cheeks. We have Honold uh, Carl Michael, who is not too, too bad. Definitely some nice stats. Um, Chris Carter, who is a beast, but his 84 speed is not going to do for me or do well for me. Um, Steve Atwater is not too bad. Now, wide receiver wise, obviously, we do need to get an upgrade. We have 85s, 83s, and 80s. So we need to get someone who actually can go ahead and, you know, help us get downfield. And at the minute, at the moment, I mean, I don't know who could that would be. Um, I want to go ahead and, you know, get a really big stud. I don't know if, if for a price tag we're going to be able to get a good enough stud. Nelson Aguilar is not bad at all. And comparing him to Devin Funches, who we're working with right now, he's definitely a huge upgrade. Um, but definitely, again, guys, tell me down below. I'm going to try to grind some more solos uh, in between episodes and try to get my coins up. But tell me down below, guys, who should I end up picking up for this um, you know, for my next upgrade because there's so many players to pick up, so much, so little coins I have to work with at the moment. But I think the team is honestly coming together very well. And go back, guys, and watch some of the gameplays and see how you know how these, oh, how my team is playing because I'll, I. You know, whenever you play Madden, you don't always know personally, like, oh, this is the issue or that's the issue. So if you watch them back and see, like, hey, you're, you know, left side of the line is letting people in real quickly, then we can know, you know, upgrade left side of the line, which I don't think that's going to be the issue. But, you know, nonetheless, you know, it's always nice to hear a second point of view, a third uh, person point of view. But, Personally, you know, obviously Cam Newton being a huge upgrade. We can get gameplay with him sometime very, very soon. And I'll get that out to you guys. But I think this team is honestly just complete. Like, there's not much to, like, look at and be like, all right, this is the issue or that's the issue. I feel like we have some really, um, you know, some studs on this team. So, again, guys, it's going to be interesting to see what ends up. Um, I did go ahead and put him at, um, what's it called, a strong uh, cornerback four. I don't know. What's his stats look like? Can I actually run him at cornerback four? We had 91 speed, 77 man, 83 zone, 69 press, 77 play rec, 68 catching. Now, obviously, compared to my man here, Desmond Trufant, he's not, you know, going to compare. But let's compare him. Actually, let's see what this guy. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I think Jordan Pryor might actually be usable. Can I? Hmm, this is interesting. So... If I put um, Patrick Chung at strong safety and I put Pryor at a cornerback position, that might actually be the move. Tell me down below what you guys think of this because this actually might be interesting. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So, for example, that's what I would go ahead and do. So I'd go ahead and take out Pryor. I put in Patrick Chung right here, right? And let's go ahead and put Pryor at cornerback and see what we can do. Now, we have right now, we have Aaron Calvin. Who looks pretty nice, but let's go ahead and see what we could do it uh, with Pryor at corner. So let's go ahead and put Pryor in. Can I not put him in? Okay, there we go. Let's see. Uh, position only. Let's do position only. All right, so we could put Pryor at you know cornerback two. Dion, we could actually go ahead and put um, what's his name? We could go ahead and put Calvin or whatever his name is, Calvin at cornerback three. And then move Dion to cornerback four and see how this works out. Now, the thing is, guys, about my team is I like to go ahead and just run. Uh, we, actually also, we also got Stefan Gilmore from doing the gauntlet um, solos. But um, what I like to go ahead and run most of the time when it comes to my team is I like to have like this, you know, kind of more aggressive tone. I do want more of a Tampa 2 type of defense where I like to have my safeties in the box a lot and you're know, playing up top, you know, playing a uh, front so we can go ahead and stop the run. And that's what would probably work out with Jordan Pryor at cornerback. So, guys, again, tell me down below. And I'll probably go ahead and put, um, what's his name, Jamal Adams back here. But... Dang, I mean, this defense is coming together pretty well, I feel like. We're definitely going to be able to go ahead and shut people down. Now, so far in my games, if we go ahead and look at them, I'm doing a pretty good, fair job at beating people. You know, it's not really that difficult, uh, you know, in some of these games. I'm going ahead and blowing them out. Um, actually, did we lose the season? We lost the season, okay, so I cannot check, but... 
back when we were playing this season, go back and watch some of the gameplays, we were actually doing a pretty good job at beating people. So I feel like, you know, there's not too much we have to truly upgrade. We are definitely in a good spot, guys. So definitely, if you enjoyed this No Money Spend Squad, tell me down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.